So it was really fun mixing the Schmincke Super Granulating watercolors. So I decided I will do a couple of more. I have bought some other uh, Signal Pigment colors, some also from other brands, uh, which were cheaper. So I will try to um, make, to mix these Super Granulating watercolors and this time as i said i will not be using only schminke watercolor so let's we will see how far i will get so this is a booklet that you can get in some shops um this is it's so nice you have all the colors here and the pigments that are being used and also here almost at the end you have the list of the Schminke Super Granulating Colors. There is one set missing. So here are eight sets. And the set that is missing is the Haze set. So there are nine sets, if I uh, calculated <laughs> right. So the green colors are the ones uh, that I have already mixed. And the yellow ones are the ones that I'm going that I'm gonna mix that I can mix with the colors that I have and for the where you see this pink one that is the place where I've used different pigments from uh, or from other brands or really different pigments uh, because I just did not want to buy a pigment from this one and I had these other pigments so I was thinking okay I will try and get that color so we will see uh, I have um, so I will show you I will write down approximately the amount of the colors I've used so if you want to try to mix them yourself you can do that um, one thing which I noticed and that is for the volcano set if you are only interested in the volcano set um, then I would not buy single pigments and try to mix the volcano set. Why? Because until now, or at least here, I was not able to find volcano yellow and volca volcano red uh, with five in five milliliter tubes. The only ones that I found was a half pen or you get the big tube. And uh, yeah, what can I do? I really wanted to mix them myself. So I bought these two tubes because I'm gonna need them for the desert set and I think also for the tundra set. No, it's also only for the desert. For the desert set and the shire set, exactly. Um, but if you, as I said, if you only want to buy a volcano set, I think it will cost less than if you just buy this set because one of these is around uh, 11 12 euros depending on where you live it can also be much more expensive because i did see some prices around 15 16 euros um, so that would not pay out because this set you can get i think for 30 or 35 euros um, in those five milliliter sets if i remember right but the price is definitely um it is going to cost less if you only want to have this set okay so that that is uh my talk i have as i said i already mixed a couple of these colors and i'm gonna do the swatch now and write down which colors i've used they all look almost the same, except for this one and this one. All the other ones are pretty black <laughs> from the look at them. Um, there is uh, exactly one more thing I could maybe say it now or later. So for the PBR7, uh, I have been using the Daily Roni uh, tubes. Why? Because these were much cheaper to buy at my place. Um, this whole tube of 15 milliliters was 3 euro 90, I think. And if I 
want to buy a tube of Schminke, the cheapest one that I will uh, get. And now, when they are also on sale, um, it's I think also 390, but only five milliliters. And when they are not on sale, they are more than four euros, uh, depending on the, of course, on the color that you buy because it goes from 380 to seven something <laughs> for five milliliter tubes. And there is something interesting which I noticed and that is that Schminke offers a couple of PBR7. So the Schminke has a couple of PBR7 colors. Uh, they have this maroon brown, uh, which is granulating. Then they have the burnt umber, which is not granulating. And then they have green umber, which again is granulating. And the difference is there because this, not, uh, this one is more like, it is in the name, it's more greenish. And this other one is uh, more reddish. And the same thing with the daily roni uh, you can see here there is a burnt umber which is actually like a maroon brown and they have raw umber which would be green umber so that is um, just something to pay attention to if you are mixing your colors and you see that your color does not look the same it can be that you are just using the wrong pbr7 and yeah okay so i'm gonna do uh, the swatch of the colors that i made i will tell you uh, the name and yeah let's just start so here are the colors that i did last time if you are interested about these ones i will put the link down in the description you can check out that video but now let's just uh, move on and we need a fresh paper so i'm gonna start with the color where i mix, mixed the, the ppr6 mars brown and the cobalt uh, violet hue pv62 i originally did not want to buy this one because i have read that you can use pv15 instead but as it was on offer i bought it but I'm gonna do the swatch of this one, the one that I made with original pigments, and then we will try and see just how it looks like if we mix these two colors. So the, the first thing is, of course, um, if you want to see a better granulation, you should uh, re-wet your paper because you need that liquid for the granulation. And it is flowing like crazy. I'll just put a tick more here. And now let's leave that one to dry. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna try to see how it looks like when I try to mix a little bit of the PBR6, so the color that is originally there, and this one is PV15. <laughs> this is my, my mixing paper, because you do have to try a couple of times until you get the color that you want. Let's see what we can get, because I am of course not sure of the ratio for this one it was a uh, two to one with the violet mm, this is too much violet okay this is more in that direction just have to see if I have enough of the violet to separate. So here is a swatch of the Galaxy Brown, which I uh, mixed uh, using 
Mars brown and cobalt violet hue. If you do not have a cobalt violet hue, you can also try and make this mixture with the ultramarine violet. It will be a little bit dif different and a little bit more difficult to mix it. Um, here I have different uh, tries, <laughs> tryouts. So here I had uh, too much of the violet, then uh, here I had too little, like there was like nothing usable. So you do have to find some that nice um, ratio. Um, it is a bit darker than this one, but as I said, you can still achieve a really similar result with this one. So if you do not have a PV62, you can use a PV15. So now I'm just going to write first the number, um, that is 974. And later I will write the names and the ratio because I just first want to swatch the ones that I made. that I'm gonna swatch now was a little bit difficult. Um, I'm not so happy with the result. Because I have the feeling that um, the blue that was supposed to come through is not really, not really coming through so much. This one is uh, Glacier, Glacier Black. So there is, I mean, there is blue coming through, but it is not so much as what I see in the swatch, in the swatch in the, the booklet that I show you or on the internet. So the next color that I'm going to show you today is the haze brown and here I will need a small help uh, from you so from the person that has the haze brown uh, at home because I was not so sure which PBR7 to use at the beginning I told you there are two different PBR7s so I mixed because I, I do have enough of them I mixed uh, both with both so I will just um, yeah I will swatch both of them and maybe some of you guys can tell me which of these ones is more similar to the original one.
So as you can see, uh, the one up the upper one, this one here, is made with the PB. <laughs> I mean, they are both made with PBR seven. So this one up here is made with the uh, burnt umber PBR seven, and this one down here is made with raw umber. This one here would be maroon brown from the Schminke set, and this one would be a uh, green green umber also from the Schminke set. Yeah, so if you do have these colors, uh, let me know in the comments which one of these is more like a haze brown. So this one which is more like a reddish one or this one which is more neutral. Uh, well, it is more greenish. Yeah, let's continue. And now I'm coming to the color which is... Um, a mixture that I tried to make because I did not I do not have the PG 19 so I uh, have mixed forest green with some other pigments And the reason for me to mixing the, this one from three other pigments is because I had different colors and that's why I did not want to buy additional one. So I mixed this one from PBR33, so that is the original one which is, uh, is inside. This is the Viridian. PG18 from Daily Roni and Chromium Oxide Green. This one is the PG17. So as you see, I'm missing the PG19. Um, but I was trying different ratios and mixes and I think I have achieved something pretty similar to the mixture of the PG-19, so to the mixture of the forest green. So another alternative uh, which I wanted to show you, alternative, it is the same pigment. So so I have been using the Mars Black from Schminke and this one is um, 5 milliliters and it's around 4 or 5 euros. But what you can do and use instead, I did not think about it before. If I did, I would have used this one from the beginning and that is the Van Gogh Oxide, uh, Oxide Black. So the pigment it's inside is the same one and I have been, I have tried to use this one now for these mixtures and uh, it also granulates, it's, the effect is the same. So you can use this one instead of this one if this one is cheaper at your place at my place it is, it is only 2 euro something, so for that uh, this one for sure is better because you also get 10 milliliters instead of 5 and you pay less. So here are the pigments and the ratios which I've used. Uh, I did not write the ratio for this one, it was a bit complicated uh, because I was uh, mixing all the time so I'm not really sure how much uh, I've put inside. Maybe I should have just written the, the pigments. Yes, I will write the pigments, but I will not write the ratio because I'm not sure, so I don't want to give you uh, false ones. And another thing that I want to do now is to mix maybe one or two more colors. So I was thinking I can mix the Tundra Orange. And for this one, I need the Potter's Pink, which I have from the last time. And I need the PBR7 and PY43. The thing is, there are two watercolors uh, from Schminke. Both have these two pigments, uh, PBR7 and PY43. I'm really not sure. I have, I've looked at the, the list. 
like hundreds of times maybe i have somehow overseen it but i really did not see py43 to buy as a single pigment py42 42 let's see py53 and here we have 65 and that's it and one more side P V P P P Y fifty three thirty five. Nope. So they do not offer the P Y forty three as a single pigment. But I, from what I remember, you can buy P Y forty three from White Knights. So that is even a cheaper um, version. Cheaper what you can get. So instead of buying, if you already have some py where is it here pbr7 as i said before there are different pbr uh, pbr7 but if you already have one of those then you only need py43 and uh from what i remember as i said i think that white knights offer that offers that one and it is uh, cheap i did not buy it because at that time it was sold out so but I have uh, these two. The difference between these two is that this one is more yellow, but this one is more brownish, but it is granulating. This one is not granulating. I've just closed the blinds, uh, and I think now the, the light is better. So uh, I still have a lot of colors to do. I think in the next video I will be doing these mixtures with the volcano colors because I have them here, I have them here and in the Shire, Shire set. So there are still a lot of colors which I have to mix. Um, but now I'm gonna do this one, this Potter's Pink and I will try a bit, bit both of them just first to see how it looks like. See, I'm always using like papers and spots on the papers that I have left. Why waste paper? So, let's see. So, a little bit of the potter's pink. This is raw sienna. This one is not granulating. So, I will put this one like here. And this one is raw umber. And this one is granulating. Okay, so um, I just wanted to show you this is raw umber and this is also raw umber from Dale Roney, but this one is made only with PBR7 and this one is a mixture of PBR7 in PY43. Let's see what we can get here. Well, it is pretty close. Let's try on the other one, the Potter's Pink with that raw umber. So I already tried this one once, but it was somehow I had a feeling that it is too dark. Yeah, it goes more in a in a brown direction. Maybe it's too much Potter's Pink. Let's see. I don't know. What do you guys think? For me. This is more tundra orange. This still goes more in the greenish direction. This is just too much potter's pink. And here I see some of the potter's pink coming through. I think it's this one. What do you guys think? I, I'm more for the right one. Yeah, so um, I'm definitely going with the non-granulating rose, uh, rose sienna and potter's pink for the tundra orange for me this is more orange than this one okay 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 let's let's uh, mix that one and see approximately what ratios we need That's around one to one, maybe a tick more of the rose sienna. It's 
Oops, this one. You have to mix really good. Uh, you have to go in all of these corners and mix the colors. So if we look at it, I think it's I need more of the Potter's Pink because it's just too yellowish. Okay, um, I'm happy with this one. So it is two to one, uh, two to one, um, two to one of the Potter's Pink. There is one thing I wanted to show you and that is because I have this swatch card here which I've got and there is a tundra tundra orange here and it looks this let's say the same as this one but I actually do not like it I like much more this one so let's I will show you so that you know if you do want to mix your colors and you want to have the exact same one. Okay. So it is more yellowish greenish whatever color that is so the original tundra orange is more in this direction so i would say or be i'm pretty sure and here is the one that i mixed maybe i should also put the one that i have mixed now So this is the one that I have mixed, this is the original one and this is the other one that I actually do not like and I did not mix. If you want to have original one, then you need raw umber, which is granulating. If you want to have it more like orange, may, orangey in that direction, then you can use a uh, raw sienna. So I'm just gonna, now I'm gonna do the swatch Yeah, if you take a look here, so this is the the dot from Tundra Orange and this is the one that I made. Mine, as I said, is more in the reddish orangey direction than the one that they offer. But if you want this one, it's not a problem. You just have to mix the Potter's Pink with the raw umber. The one that I used is the raw Sienna. So these are the colors that I've mixed this time. Um, I will do more mixing and swatching. So thank you for watching and see you next time at the next swatching and mixing session. Bye bye.